Hey guys, Mr. Backer here. In this video, we're going to find the area of a sector of a circle. So as we're looking at our circle, a sector is just a small chunk or a small slice of this circle. And you can think about it like a piece of pizza. So we've got that sector that's bounded by the arc AB. And let's say we wanted to find the area of that sector. In order to find the area of this sector, we need to know the measure of the arc itself that runs from A to B. And we're going to take the measure of that arc, divide by 360, and then multiply that answer by the area of the total circle. Taking a look at this example, we're going to find the area of the sector that's cut by the arc that runs from point A to point B. So as we're looking at this, we need to know what the measure of the arc that runs from A to B is. We've got a 70 degree central angle, so that means we'll be dealing with a 70 degree arc, divided by the full 360 degree measure of the circle, times, on the end we want the area of our circle. So remember, area is pi times the radius squared. So we've got pi times our radius is 8 squared. Now I'm going to simplify this down a little bit before I type it into my calculator. So we've got 70 over 360 times pi times 8 squared is the same as 64. So now we should be able to just type all of this into our calculator. 70 divided by 360 times pi times 64. When we do that, we should get about 39.10. We do need a label on this. Our radius was given to us in feet, so this is going to be feet squared since we're dealing with an area problem. In this example, we've got a circle with a 10 inch radius and we're given a 90 degree central angle. Again, we're going to find the area of the sector that runs from point A to point B. In order to do that, we need to know the measure of the arc that runs from A to B. 90 degree central angle means 90 degree arc over 360 times pi times our radius, which is 10 squared because we need the area of our circle on the back end of our formula. Now we can simplify this down a little bit. So we've got 90 over 360 times pi times 10 squared is 100. When we type all of this into our calculator, we should get about 78.54 inches squared as the area of this sector cut off by that arc AB. We can also take our sector area formula and rearrange it a little bit in case we were trying to solve for something else. So let's say on the back end, right now we're multiplying by the area of our full circle. I want to move that over to the other side by dividing both sides by the area of our entire circle. And then we've got ourselves a proportional setup. So we've got the area of an arc that runs from A to B over the area of our full circle. And that fraction has to equal the measure of the arc that runs from A to B in terms of degrees over 360. Now we're going to use that formula that we just wrote down. So let's say we're given this picture. We know that the central angle in our picture is a 40 degree angle. We also know that the area of the sector that that 40 degree angle cuts is 35 centimeters squared. And what I want to know is I want to know the area of the entire circle. So we're going to use this formula and plug in everything that we have. So we know that the area of our sector is 35 centimeters squared over, we want to find the area of the entire circle. So that's where our A value is going to go, equals our 40 degree central angle, because the measure of the central angle is the exact same as the measure of the arc that it intercepts, over 360. Now since we've got a proportion, fractions on each side of our equal sign, I'm going to do a little cross multiplying. So taking 35 times 360, we get 12,600 equals, if we take 40 times A, we get 40A. Our last step is to get A all by itself, so we're going to divide both sides by 40. And when we do that, the area of our circle ends up being about 315 centimeters squared. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.